Hey guys, so I've already done my base and I used the Benefit Professional Primer, the Bourgeois City Radiance Foundation in 02 Vanilla, the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in 21 Golden Beige, and set my under eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shades Vanilla and Banana, and the rest of my face with my MAC Powder in NC25. Now I'm priming my eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I'm applying that on the eyelid up to the brow bone. Then I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and Transparent and I'm just going to be setting my whole eyelid up to the brow bone as well just to make the blending a lot easier. Now I'm going to be taking Frappe by Makeup Geek and I'm going to be taking that on a blending brush and I'm just going to blend that in the crease and kind of blow it out um, a bit rounder than usual and I'm going quite down on the outer corner as well so that then I can link the lower lash line with my upper lash line slash upper lid. <laughs> I'm just really blending all the edges. You really want to make sure that it's nice and soft and that the color is really kind of accentuated on like near the crease and not on the outer parts and around and I'm doing kind of a halo effect because I was going for a halo eye at the beginning but then you're going to see I'm going to change. Now I'm just blending the edges using a clean brush, the one that I used to set my eyes with. Now I'm taking this kind of brown shade by Clarence and it's a really nice, it's super blendable. I never used this palette before and the colors are, the shades, I mean the texture of the eyeshadow is super blendable, it's really nice. And again, I'm going to do that halo kind of shape, which I'm actually going to change later on a little bit. And I'm taking that in the crease just so that afterwards it kind of blends easier. Now I'm taking Dirty Martini by Makeup Geek. And as you can see, I was going also for that halo shape, because at the beginning I was going to put a kind of green sparkly eyeshadow in the center, but then I changed. And so I'm kind of going for the halo, but then you're going to see that <laughs> I'm changing, which I just said. Um, but yeah. I'm still going for that kind of rounded shape though. So as you can see, I ended up putting the green all over my eyelid and I actually really liked it. Um, so I'm just kind of blending that all over my eyelid. It's kind of actually quite messy. It's just, it's really easy. I'm just blending the color into the center of my eyelid, blending it into the brown shade and yeah, that's basically it. Then I'm going to be doing the lower lash line and I'm taking Frappe and I'm just going to blend that and I'm connecting the outer corner together, that's why I brought the eyeshadow kind of downwards more than usual. Now I'm taking Dirty Martini and I'm also going to apply that onto the lower lash line but keeping it a bit less um, low, kind of keeping it closer to the lashes. Now I'm just going to be tight lining the lower lash line. And I actually didn't show which product I used because I filmed the wrong product. I thought I used a different one to tight line. But yeah, I'm just tight lining the upper and lower lash uh, lash line. So this is what it looks like. It adds a lot of drama. <laughs> now I'm taking my mascara, the one that I use all the time. It's my favorite because I only use waterproof mascara so that they hold the curl. Otherwise, none, no mascara that I've ever used holds the curl. Um, so I'm using this Clarence Waterproof Black Mascara and as you can see afterwards in the next shot how amazing my lashes look afterwards because my lashes are really blonde naturally so that really just makes them pop. As you can see there's a huge difference. Now I'm taking Gold Deposit by MAC and I'm just going to bronze my face up with that. I'm taking a stippling brush because it is quite pigmented. But uh, for this look, I really want my skin to be nice and glowy, and I'm applying that around my temples and nose as well. Now I'm taking Burnt Pepper, um, and I'm going to apply that onto my cheekbones as per usual, and I'm kind of blending all of that. Then I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and I'm going to contour my cheekbones, put a bit that, of that on the sides of my nose and a little bit on my temples. Now I'm taking the ELF Bake Highlighter in Moonlight Pearls and I'm going to be taking that on a stippling brush. I actually took that on a stippling brush because it is kind of a smaller brush so I thought it would apply more concentrated and it did and I ended up loving. I kind of use more highlight than I usually do and 
I was dying for my highlight. Um, and I'm applying that onto my nose, Cupid's bow, cheekbones, and the inner corners of my eyes. So this is what it looks like with the added highlight. I really, really was dying for my highlight. Now I'm using the Maybelline Truffle Tease Lipstick and it's a nice kind of peachy nude and I really like this lipstick. And I'm applying that onto my lips. You could use a lip liner if you wanted to. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you next time.